Now it's time for our Appdiculous Picks of the Week. Michael, what silly thing did you find online this week? I found an app called Face Melter. And uh, what it does is if I take a picture of you, and I apologize in advance, Cheese. I, then, well, I don't know. You don't want to say cheese because now I'm going to actually mess up your face and move around and manipulate it to make it all wobbly and all messed up. But it's kind of fun, right? It's not like that app that makes you look older. In fact, this just is kind of amusing. Yeah, it's an amusing. But uh, what I think is cool about this is as you're manipulating and moving around the uh, picture with your, your fingers, you can actually then turn it into almost like an animated reel and then play it back. And you can go one step further and actually share it on your social media, okay. uh, like a Flickr and stuff like that. That's a little frightening. I don't know if I'd want it shared, but nonetheless fun. Uh, all right, I have an app that I think is probably the weirdest app I've ever seen in my life. It's called Ruben and Lol. Have you ever heard of it? I haven't, but it actually sounds not too bad. No, it's very strange. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's an interactive storybook. However, it's about a couple who are very angry. They're fighting. They're in the middle of a fight, and you get to control the fight. So you are basically making them fight? Well, you are dictating how the fight ends. So, for instance, you can tilt to the left to go on in this story. When you want to make the couple more angry, all you do is you hold the screen and you shake your iPad. You can really take hard. your own frustration out as well. And it they turn bright red. Now, if you want to make them happy, what you can do is you can stroke the screen gently, and they will become happy and they will make up in terms of their fighting. Uh, a little bit strange because at the end of the day, they still are in a fight and you can't really resolve anything, but you can kind of control a bit of the dialogue in a weird interactive way. That is definitely a strange app. It's strange. If you can top that head on over to appcentral.ca and let us know.